Tonight, a Dallas police crash report obtained by NBC5 investigates details the chain reaction series of events, events that investigators say triggered the freeway car crash involving Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice and SMU defensive back Teddy Knox. Senior investigative reporter Scott Friedman has the new information, which provides the most detailed description yet of how the crash unfolded. Scott? Yeah, Brian and Meredith, in that new police report we obtained, investigators say Rice was driving a Lamborghini on the left shoulder of the road when his car was first struck by the Corvette Knox was driving. Police say Knox was also trying to move from the far left lane into the shoulder. Both cars, investigators say, traveling at more than 115 miles per hour seconds before impact. The new report offers the most detailed description of the crash events from police so far. It includes a crash diagram with a spaghetti bowl-like series of lines across the highway, illustrating how cars spun and ricocheted off each other after the initial impact on 75 Central Expressway in March. In the crash report, police say it was Knox's Corvette that hit Rice's Lamborghini first causing Rice to impact the center median wall, then rotating counterclockwise, hitting a third vehicle, and spinning in the other direction until the car came to rest in the middle of the highway. Video from the scene capturing some of the collision, which police say involved four other cars with a total of eight people on board, including two children. The police report also details how investigators determined both Rice and Knox were allegedly traveling 119 and 116 miles per hour seconds before impact. It says a search warrant was issued for the download of EDR data from the two cars. An EDR is an event data recorder which captures information about a car's movements in the seconds prior to a crash. An arrest warrant affidavit that NBC5 investigates obtained for Knox says his car was still traveling 91 miles per hour about one second before the collision. The report says the official contributing factors to the crash include both cars speeding, Rice driving on the shoulder, and Knox changing lanes when unsafe. We reached out to their attorneys tonight. Rice's attorney telling us they are aware of the new police report, but do not want to comment since this is an ongoing legal matter. Knox's lawyer did not immediately respond. Both men were arrested on initial charges, including aggravated assault and collision involving serious bodily injury. Knox and Rice have previously said through lawyers they are cooperating with authorities, and Rice has issued an apology to people impacted by that crash. Meredith? All right, Scott Friedman for us tonight. Thank you.